In this video, let's, let's understand the special cases of the demand curve. This is the rectangular hyperbola demand curve. See, let's see it on a graph. quantity price let's make a rectangular hyperbola demand curve this is this way i'm not i cannot make it very you know accurate just because i do not have pencil or scale it is very difficult to draw uh, perfectly with the rough hand so please do, draw perfectly dd Alright, see so this is the rectangular hyperbola demand curve. See, this was the price P, your quantity, let's say was Q. Now this is the price P1, let's say your quantity has become Q2. What is the property of the rectangular hyperbola is? Here the elasticity of demand at every point. Let's see this point. Let's say this is your point N. This is your point M. So at every point on this rectangular hyperbola your elasticity of demand will be 1. At this point also elasticity of demand is 1, at this point also elasticity of demand is 1. Let's say somewhere your point here, your elasticity of demand is 1. So this is the property of the rectangular hyperbola demand curve. Because the area of the rectangles under the rectangular hyperbola is same. That is the area of rectangle let's say uh, this is p n q o p n q o is equal to area of rectangle the second rectangle which one is formed this p1 m q2 o this is p1 m q2 o right so the area under this rectangular hyperbola of other uh, rectangles is same so when you take percentage change in quantity demanded to percentage change in price that the area is same one by one let's say so your elasticity of demand is same so elasticity of demand happens to be equal to unitary at all points of the demand curve when demand curve is rectangular hyper, hyperbola. By this, rectangular hyperbola is a curve under which all the rectangular areas are equal. Right? So, this is the property of the rectangular hyperbola demand curve. See, now I understand flatter demand curve. See a price was P1. Okay. The price now has reduced to P2. So we have got one quantity is Q1 and the second quantity is Q2. So we have do, uh, drawn two demand curves. Let's say D1 and this was a, a price P. This was let's say this was our initial quantity Q1. Q, right? So price P1, this was our initial quantity. It has reduced to price P2. So the quantity in demand 1, D1 curve has gone from Q to Q1. In D2, it has gone from Q to Q2. So flatter the demand curve, greater is the elasticity. Let's see from the example, percentage change 
and quantity demanded farming percentage change in price this is how you calculate your elasticity of demand right see percentage change in quantity demanded in d1 demand curve right that's that is less let's say it's 10 and your change in price let's say it's 5 so you have the elasticity of demand is equal to 2 in your d2 this was in the case of d1 in your d2 demand cover what is happening your change in quantity demanded is more then your D1 demand curve, see, from Q to Q1, Q to Q2. So, quantity demanded is more, let's say 30. But the change in price is the same of 5, 6. So, this is the reason why the flatter demand curve is greater than elasticity. Has a greater elasticity than your steeper demand. 